we have left Tofino. We went in as hikers and we are now surfer bros. You're I'm not a bro. A bro. I'm you're, a bro. You're a bro. -er. I became a bro too. That's yeah, we have we have big some changes news. in Tofino. Yeah, there's there some big changes. It was quite an expensive place because of of some surgeries and stuff that you had to get. Yeah, but I'm got my long beach hair. You're missing the beard though. I can kindly the hormones take a while. To I can kindly in. donate some of my beard to you. Anyways, we are a little bit past Port Alberni, left Tofino today, and we are at this ancient cedar forest that we're gonna go check out for a little bit. Mostly just a driving day, because we're gonna head to Victoria. We're actually gonna go uh, say hi to the mother of the owner of the farm that we woofed on. And by say hi, we also mean just sleep at their place she, because they're awesome and offered us a bed while we were in Victoria. Yeah, super nice people. So we're going to go stay there and check out Victoria a little bit. And I think unless we do some hiking on like the southwest side, the island may be done. We may Soon. be closing may be... the Canadian chapter of this buff. It's also September. When did what? that even happen? Leaves. We saw leaves changing as we were driving. Like, it's crazy craziness. Anyways, let's go check out this forest. I hope you We may not have been the only people who had the idea to visit this today. It's just a little busy. So the trail is actually called Cathedral Grove. It's a bit east of Port Alberni, and it's an ancient cedar forest, I believe. Yeah, the oldest trees here are up to 800 years old. So they're gonna be massive. And we're already under the canopy and it's super cool in here. So I may have lied, it's actually Douglas fir that are the giant trees in there. But now we are back at the car having some delicious strawberries. Oh, this one's falling away. Hmm. Well yeah, those trees were giant and it's kind of like a, an, uh, a first foray into the ancient forest for me because we're gonna go see crazy redwoods in California and stuff, so. We made it to Victoria. We are in a city again. It is crazy and totally different. Although, a lot different than Vancouver. Like, not, not as insane as Vancouver, but finding parking was a little bit hectic. Luckily, unlike Vancouver as well, we found totally reasonable parking, aka free, because it's after 6 p.m. just about. So we're gonna go walk around, we're gonna explore. There's a mech here. We're gonna go to Chapters too, and just have a bit of a, a metropolitan night as a break from uh, the, the beaches of Tofino. I'd still rather be on the beaches, but this is pretty cool too. amazing sleep last night because we stayed with Wendy who is the mother of the owners of the farm that we woofed on in Rossland BC about a month ago. The she world's the most best. generous person the ever. Best. We we stayed in her beautiful home, had like a shower this morning and feel super refreshed. Already had our morning coffee, so we're feeling like energetic. We that were might talking just be last me, night but... and we realized 
that last night was our first time staying in a house, like just somewhere with a roof. Like a proper roof over our heads. In three months. It's in been three months since we just slept in a bed, a regular bed in a house. So if that's any indication on how good we're feeling today, then we're feeling alive. Yeah, we're feeling we're feeling alive and we are exploring Victoria today. I have a lot of energy now. This is what happens when you get both sleep and caffeine. I know, usually it's one or the other. <laughs> Because caffeine equals sleep. We're at Douglas Mountain right now, and the non-lazy people hike up it, and the lazy people... After a nice big Tim Hortons breakfast and some ketchup chips that I didn't have, we drove up Douglas Mountain, and our justification is that we have a lot of stuff to see today, so we don't have time to hike up this paved path to the top of the mountain. But let's go see this view, and let's get the day started. One of the cool things we're noticing about Victoria is that it's a city, as Alana said yesterday, it's a city for people who aren't huge fans of cities. Because if you look around me, you mostly see trees, there's like farmland and everything. And then way in there, tucked in, there's like a little downtown core, but there's no skyscrapers or anything. I think they have zoning laws against it. So you really quickly get into like suburbs and greenery and stuff. So it's a really interesting city, definitely a different pace than Vancouver. Look, city right there and farmland, just probably what, 10, 15 minutes out of the city core? Yeah, like you don't have to drive far to get into farmland. And we noticed that last night when we were driving to Wendy's, you drive like five minutes and you're outside of like the hustle bustle downtown mm -hmm. and you're already into suburbs. So it's a super, super neat, city and we are we are digging the vibe mm -hmm. with the heat and the dryness we're getting a, some reminders of like the okanagan valley they're in, they're in a bit of like a hot pocket on on the island the little peninsula here so they get a bit different weather than the weather we've seen on the island thus far mm -hmm. but super cool definitely see us spending more time here but we got some got us of a to see yeah, we got more to see, so we will gladly spend the day walking around and enjoying the city and head out tomorrow. Faux show. Sure. I'd like to point out that we are not proud of this moment. But you can't beat that price. Picnic time. Salad out of a bag. By the Fisherman's Wharf. Gonna eat this and then we're gonna go check out some of those float homes because who doesn't love adorable brightly colored tiny homes that float on water. through things. Being a tourist, it's a little hot. So we're gonna go cool down with a nice cold alcoholic beverage. We say no to ice cream and yes to beer. That's self-control for you folks. <laughs> Yeah, self-control. whole ice cream thing. So we went to one brewery, Driftwood Brewery, and just kind of got a rapid fire flight of beer. We just split it. Then we were walking around and decided that the other brewery didn't quite tickle our fancy, but there was like this gourmet ice cream shop called Small Parachute. batch ice cream. Jim. And they had like super weird flavors like uh, lychee, black, black tea. tea, they had a matcha one, they had... They had an 
blood orange chocolate one. We settled on a pint of rhubarb crumble, which was... Oh my gosh. It, it made us crumble at the knees. It, it was that it good. It did. I, it was the best ice cream I've ever had. It, it was, was so amazing. good. There was a vintage boat show thingy majig going on tonight. We're going to go check that out, see what that's all about, and hang out in the nightlife of Victoria. There's beautiful lights everywhere that we started seeing last night, but we didn't want to get to Wendy's place too late, so we headed there before it got really beautiful. So tonight we're gonna hang out in the city and see some more sights. And I hope that you guys are still watching and you want to join us on this downtown adventure. What were you gonna call this episode? Because we're seeing Victoria so fast. Mark Milana's rapid fire sightseeing of Victoria. Day. Tell me more like this. Carry on. Gentlemen, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good? And if you're in my city, right here, sir, with your knees facing the audience. That would be just perfect. Right on. Push their backs, lift up their bumps, please. Very That's number one. We know that's number two. That's number three. Yes. Go. Go. And stop. Very feet.